hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great and if you're new to my channel my name is nancy please subscribe share and like my videos in today's class i'll be showing you how to cut a asymmetric peplum to achieve this you need to take the measurements of the waist circumference So the waist circumference on this half cut is 30 inches with the zipper allowance included. The next step is to get the radius of the peplum, which is 30 inches divided by 6.28. So the radius I'll be working with is 4.7 inches. The first step is to fold the fabric into two. The next step is to fold the fabric into two. So I practically folded it into four. But in this case, I didn't fold it equally because one side of the peplum is longer than the other side. To know the length of the fold you need for the short peplum, you have to add the actual length you want for the short peplum plus the radius of the peplum. So the actual length I want is 8.5 inches. And if I had 8.5 inches to 4.7, that would be 13.2 inches. This means that the length of this short fold is 13.2 inches. The next step is to place the tape on the tip of the fold to mark the radius of the peplum, which is 4.7 inches and the short length of the peplum is 8.5 inches so i'll place the tape on the radius of the peplum to mark 8.5 inches all through. The first part to cut out is the radius of the peplum. The next part to cut out is the doubled side of the short peplum. The next step is to notch the center of the peplum as shown. This notch part will guide me in marking the center line of the peplum. The next step is to mark the length of the longer side of the peplum. Since the half length of the blouse is 15 inches, I will subtract 15 inches from the radius of the peplum as shown. And here I have about 44.5 inches. But if you want it shorter, you can reduce the length. Or if you want it longer, you can increase the length. But here I'll just be working with the length of the fold I have here. The next step is to extend the length of the center line to the longer side of the peplum. All right, guys, we've achieved the peplum, and the next step is to open just this center line I chopped.
after we have achieved the peplum the next step is to place right fabric side of the peplum on the right fabric side of the half blouse to pin on the waistline Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to secure the waistline by half an inch. After attaching the peplum to the waistline of the blouse, the next step is to secure the hem of the peplum by folding it half an inch and further folding it in by half an inch. After securing the hem of the peplum, the final step in this tutorial is to attach the zipper to the zipper allowance at the center back of the blouse. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you are new to my channel, my name is Nancy. Kindly subscribe, share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.